My name is Desiree Davis, and who I am? I'm, I'm a camera girl. <laughs> Didn't really have the perfect family um, or the like perfect life, but like uh, I, I grew up in Sykeston, Missouri. Life there was kind of stressful. It was just hectic. There was a, a lot of people, a lot of uh, a lot of crazy things going on. It didn't really feel safe. The violence and stress impacted me where now I have uh, anxiety, but it wasn't just from that. It was definitely a part of just like growing up. I've had a lot of trials and errors and just like things go wrong. So I was very quiet and just kept to myself. I didn't really do the role dating thing. I didn't really do like hug or kissing or hand holding. I was more like, a friend relationship kind of thing. And I only remember having like actually two of those and it wasn't serious. It wasn't anything besides, you know, high school or not high school, yeah, high school and school stuff. So just like having somebody to talk to and hang out with. Uh, why I think uh, I didn't ever have that normal high school relationship was because I just found it difficult. I never really could like um, feel safe or like actually trust somebody enough to, you know, actually let them in. So I've just lost a lot of trust in people. So uh, I've just had a lot of things go wrong. Being, being bullied in high school for my size, being thin, I, I was a late bloomer. So that made it difficult. It made me sad and hurt and um, alone. And honestly, I, uh, I felt self-conscious and didn't really like my body, so. Before I met Buggy, I just, I wasn't interested in looking in a guy or in, you know, relationships. I just was doing my own thing, living on a farm. What's it like living on a farm? It's, it's peaceful, it's nice. I loved pretty much everything about it. It's home, and I know I always got a home, so it's nice. Uh, this is an Axla. This is a Pokemon. I don't really uh, exactly know which one. Um, and this is a uh, Godzilla. Why do I have stuffed animals? Because they're cute and they're cool, and I know that they don't, I mean, they eventually go away, but like if you, I mean, they're just, they're there. You know, it's something to remember, it's memories. So I originally discovered Boogie on YouTube, and it was with a collab of Jesse um, McJugger Nuggets and Kid Behind the Camera's videos. My, okay, my initial impression of Boogie was he's adorable. I'm, I just, I don't know what it was. It was, I guess it's his energy, his, his curly hair, his glasses. I'm, I must be into nerds. It's, I guess, I don't know. I, I never really paid attention to like my feelings or anything cause I kind of like kept to myself in school. So like, I don't know, he's just adorable to me. I like him. He was going through a lot and I randomly hit him up on Instagram and I, told him that I, you know, I support him and that I'm always here for him and stuff. And so it, it started from there. So we talked on Snapchat for a while, a couple months. Okay, so we definitely took it slow. Um, I, we didn't get to like the actual romantic thing. Like, you know, we would talk about it, but it never was like, we never really got into it on Snapchat. It was in person, we waited. And even then, we, we are still taking it slow. Uh, I don't ever want to be alone. That's another thing. I'm just, I just, maybe that's why I have stuffed animals. I just, I don't ever want to be alone. And so it's just nice to have company. And I don't know. That's weird, but I'm weird. Um, but yeah. Um, so he's fun, loving, go-getting, and just social. and. I like that about him because I'm a little bit like that, but I'm more shy, like he's bringing it out of me. So that's what I like. Uh, we're definitely, uh, I, I was an opposite for a while from him because like I said, I was just shy, I kept to myself. So it's nice, him being different. They're always gonna have criticism and hate, you know? So, and I've always dealt with hate and criticism, so it's nothing new to me. He's not manipulating me. I love him for him. He doesn't control me. We're a team. He supports me in everything I do and everything I want. He's, 
He's my support system, so. I don't have a good relationship with my father. I don't really call him my father. Call him sperm donor, but uh, this don't have to be put into the documentary. I just, I don't re reference him as father to me. He's never really been my father. He signed his rights away, or my rights away, whenever I was 20 months old, or was it 18 months old? I think it was 18 months old. He signed his rights away from us, so I don't. I never really had a good father role figure in my life. It didn't make me feel good. It, it hurt a lot. I just, I definitely just wanted that father figure and that role and just didn't ever have it. Growing up without a father figure has its challenges. Like you just don't have that, that, that support system that you would and the advice that you need. And so it's just difficult. because I don't want to be alone, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's hard. What, what's getting you so emotional? Because I love him and just imagining a life without him is difficult. I do. I do love him. I truly love him. Have you ever loved anyone? <laughs> not, not really, no. No, I haven't. What about the people who say you're, these are fake tears, you're all in it for the cloud? <laughs> Let them say it. I don't care. You know, if that's what they think, that's what they think. At the end of the day, I know how I feel. It's not easy because I don't like seeing him stressed and I don't like seeing him troubled. I just want to be his support system, like he's my support system, so it's not easy. Uh, where do I think the financial picture of Boogie will be? I don't know. Does that worry you, or...? It does, but I... Do oh, yeah. does it worry me? It does, but I worry about him more. Even if he does go broke and has to sell the house, I'm still going to be by his side. He's the only one that I love and I care about, and there's only one of them. And so I'm not just going to up and leave him for money, because money's an issue. Yeah, um, my thoughts on me moving on to a younger guy is not going to happen. Why not? Because it's, they're not him. Do you feel Boogie's irreplaceable for you? Yeah, I feel Boogie is irreplaceable for me. What makes Boogie so special is that, oh, gosh. What makes Boogie so special is that he, he's caring and loving and non-judgmental and has been through heck and back and is still a champ. And so there's nobody, absolutely nobody out in the world that I think is gonna be like him or near as close to being like him, so. What's the future of the relationship with Boogie? The future in our relationship, I see marriage. Boogie has improved my life tremendously. He just makes me happy, the happiest I've ever been. And I'm not alone, and so that he just completes me. Moving in has been interesting but fun. Like, there has not been a dull moment. And it's been full of laughter. This house has been full of laughter nonstop. So it's been really nice. It's been refreshing. I think overall this house is interesting and it's it's characteristic and it's just there's not there's just there's nothing boring about it, honestly. I love the video games. I love the whole setup. I would not change a darn thing. <laughs> I help with the dogs. I get him. I get him his water. I, you know, like whatever he wants and requests. Honestly, nothing. But I help out as much as I can. You know, I, I just mainly is to take care of him. He takes care of me. So, um, what was it like to see him getting obliterated in a boxing match? I didn't watch the boxing match because he's still a winner to me at the end of the day. But it, I just for the fact that I didn't want to watch it was because I don't want to see him get hurt. I don't like him getting hurt. Is it demasculating? No, he stepped into the ring. A lot of guys are too afraid to even do that, so. There was no attraction to Jordy after the fight. I need some tissues.
what would it take? It wouldn't take anything. I'm not breaking up with him. If he broke up with me, that's different, but I'm never gonna find a reason to break up with him. Sorry, I'll, I'll repeat all that. What was the question? So if he cheated, I'm not gonna break up with him because I love him and it's gonna hurt, yeah. We're gonna talk about it, but I know at the end of the day he loves me, so. It would, it, it would, to see him with, okay, to see Boogie with another woman, it would hurt and it would make me jealous, but I'd get it. Women are beautiful. So I would say are just about women because I know as a YouTuber you have plenty of options and I've been I've been told this by another YouTuber so I'm a, I'm very much aware of this. It's okay. When it comes to Boogie I did experience a lot of jealousy because I did know and I was told that he has options and it's it's very clear and aware of that he does. So am I attracted to Boogie for his money? No because the money doesn't make a person. It might also be because he doesn't have any money. <laughs> I don't, well, I mean, I don't really care about that. <laughs> what do I think about his dire financial situation? I think it's scary. Yeah, what's so scary about it? Um, that he might lose it all in a day. He might just be homeless one day, but it makes me feel nervous and scared, but I'm gonna be by his side no matter what, so. I would do whatever it took to support him, yes. A job, yeah. Okay, I would get a job to support him. I do see myself growing old with Buggy. This is everything and more for me. I'm complete, I have my partner in crime, my player one, um, and just a happy home. Is there anything else that people need to know or that they don't get to see? They they see pretty much what they see behind the camera on YouTube, Instagram, all of his socials. That's that's the legit him. Like he's funny, charismatic. He makes people laugh, you know. He's a sweetheart, so